after the high winds, some of them moving at more than 60 miles per hour, just strafe the region on Sunday. If you haven't finished cleaning up yet, you definitely not alone. While the number of trees just compromised by Mother Nature's February 2024 fury may be less than what we saw in the severe storms this time last year, each one of those trees matters. Walter Passmore is the state's urban forester, keeping an eye on it all, and he is with me now live. Good morning to you. Good morning. First, before we go into this latest cycle of atmospheric rivers, where were we as a state when it came to tree loss after the destructive winter of 2023? Kind of then it wasn't just a one two punch. We had like six to seven rounds of the rough stuff just back to back to back. We did experience a uh, far greater than normal rainfall last year. And so that loosened the soil and caused more whole tree failures. Uh, this year we have seen higher than normal winds. So we were seeing a lot more uh, broken branches and you know that has combined with, with rain to cause some whole tree failures. But in, in all, uh, the state has fared uh, pretty well so we always expect some trees to uh, be compromised during storms. So for homeowners, you know, you definitely want to pay attention to any big change in condition. If a tree is leaning more, uh, if there is soil that is raised uh, on the, the side of the root ball, uh, any large broken branches should be addressed and Certainly, homeowners should be uh, aware that large branches or whole trees are the job of professional companies with the right equipment. So yes, yes, they don't try are. Try to tackle that on your own. So even though trees have come down in this week's storms, were we in a better position maybe to handle what Mother Nature delivered? Because so many municipalities, the state, homeowners did so much maintenance after the mess they had to deal with last year. Everybody was thinking about this. Certainly in big storms, the trees that are most likely to fail often do. And and so, you know, the the damage that we experienced last year reduced how much we're experiencing this year. That uh, is a very but, good thing. Yeah, we, we certainly, you know, have some damage and, and people should be looking at their trees after each big storm to note any big changes in condition. Uh, there's a, an industry website called freezeargood.org, mm -hmm. which is a great reference for homeowners. And, you know, if they notice a large defect, broken branch, they can contact an arborist through that website. All right. Now, when it comes to replanting or rehabbing, I'm not sure what, what word gets used in your, your industry. Um, have we done a good job as a state so far trying to replace or get in line for replacement of what was lost last year, do you think? We have uh, municipalities are pretty good about replacing trees that are uh, <clears throat> removed for whatever reason, whether that's storm or they just die of natural causes. Uh, we obviously need to do more because California has a goal to increase urban tree canopy statewide to address impacts such as extreme heat, which we're not thinking about right now in <laughs> no. the winter, but it's coming. Okay, so we have that goal, so we're working on that. Um, the assessment that you gave, you said we weren't doing too bad overall as a state. Just wanna go into a little bit more. You said if you hear crack or crackling or if you see dirt coming up, we just wanna make sure everybody knows what the warning signs are. Anything else? And if something has come down partially, do you take the whole thing down or is it okay to leave a tree sort of half up? So it's best to consult a certified arborist to make those decisions. Uh, oftentimes pruning or uh, taking off the broken limbs can save the tree and you can retain the whole tree. There's only a few defects that are high risk and likely to cause a whole tree failure. All righty. Well, we know it's something that's going to be on everybody's mind again this winter with the strongest winds you say that we've seen in quite a while. But we appreciate you telling us that the uh, tree health statewide is doing pretty well and we're cleaning up all right. We appreciate your insight today.
Thank you for having me.